Hello and welcome to the first tutorial in the Bootstrap Free Series. In this part we're going to be looking at what Bootstrap is. First of all, let's briefly discuss how popular it is. It's the most popular, responsive HTML, CSS and JavaScript framework in the world. Yes, I said in the world. So by following this series, you will be learning a framework that is used by many websites such as BeckonFragrances.com, Tony and Guy's online store, plus many more. Chances are if you use a modern website and it's responsive and it works nicely on a cross variety of devices, chances are it's built on top of Bootstrap. So the next question you may have is what is a responsive website? If you're looking into making websites, especially if you're watching this series, you probably already know what a responsive website is, but if you don't, the best way to explain it is to by simply showing you. So let's just open up a browser and go to the Bootstrap website. Bootstrap. Ah, not connected to the internet. Okie dokie. Refresh. And what we're going to do is go to the expo. And from here, we can just select one of their websites. It doesn't really matter which one we select. Um, yeah, let's select this one. EchoCapital.com. Okay, if you look at this website, it, it's a nice looking website. And it forms well, it's posi everything positioned nicely. Watch what happens when I resize it. I'm resizing it, and as you can see, the content is readjusting according to the screen size. And now when I get to really small, everything's on top of each other because there's not enough on the side, not, not enough space on the side. So this is the sort of size it will be on a desktop. This is what you'll probably have around about here on a tablet, and then on a phone, this is how it will look. That is what responsive design is. It basically allows you to create a website to handle resizing uh, your website, but also provides, uh, sorry, uh, 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 went a little too far then. Responsive website, to put it simply, it allows you to use one base code, one project, uh, one website to fit pretty much every device. So you've got your desktop, and within desktop you have a large display, you have a small display, you have medium display, then you've got tablets, phones, you've got phablets as well. So all different devices uh, coming out all the time. Bootstrap not only handles resizing of your websites through responsive design, but also provides common user interface components such as input boxes, buttons, image sliders, etc. It basically has you covered. There are also other frameworks built on top of Bootstrap that contain more elements, but first thing is first, and that is to learn how to use Bootstrap. So where did Bootstrap come from? It was developed by Mark Otto and Jacob Thornton at Twitter for developing internal websites and tools uh, as there wasn't any consistency for the internal development before this which slowed down their development but before long they saw something more than just an internal tool it was launched on August 2011 and now is the most starred github development project it is really really popular like I said, it's, the, it's the world's most popular framework for responsive design you may be wondering how bootstrap achieves this responsive design it is, used, it is by using a grid system, which will be covered in a couple of tutorials though. Also, the framework is completely free and open source, so you're not really losing much by just checking it out. Before continuing this series, we recommend you feel comfortable with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and jQuery. If you're not, then don't worry, as we have tutorials for all of them. Links will be provided in the description. The next tutorial will cover the advantages and disadvantages of using the Bootstrap framework. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. And as usual, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day.